Chapter 4 Comments In this chapter, we'll take a look at some of the different comment types such as single line, block, and PHP doc. We'll also see how a neat feature of the IDE called code folding works. Comments are arguably the most important part of any program. Simply put, a comment is text within a program that isn't processed by the computer. The comments are there for you, your team, and the next person that needs to make changes to or understand the code you've written. Inevitably, you will have to make changes to the code you write at some point in the future. Having effective comments means that you'll have to spend much less time figuring out how the code works when you come back to it later. Let's take a look at some actual comments in example3.php. The simplest style of PHP comment is the single line comment. Everything following the two forward slashes is considered to be part of the comment and is thus ignored by the web server. Although they can be put anywhere, the best practice is to put them just before the line or a group of lines that they refer to. For comments spanning multiple lines, the block comment is the best choice. Everything between the forward slash plus an asterisk or star and a complementary star and forward slash is ignored by the web server. Using this syntax, we can add multi-line comments. These are often used at the start of a program or function to provide an English description of the algorithm for the code that follows. The next two types of comments are still technically block comments. The difference is that some IDEs and other software can deal with the formatting and markup in useful ways. With both of these, pressing enter at the end of a line places a star in line with the others and places the cursor at the same insertion point as the other lines. The last comment style here also demonstrates a useful feature of the IDE. Have a look at the small plus sign beside this line. This indicates that there's a section of code that's been folded using a feature called code folding. With this feature, certain blocks of code can be shown and hidden by clicking on the icon beside. By hovering over the icon, the complete folded section can be shown, and by clicking on it, we can display all of that code. PHP Documenter, or PHPDoc for short, is a program that's used to automatically generate documentation for your scripts based largely on information that you supply in the comments. Special tags are used within the comment that can be understood by PHPDoc. For more information on PHPDoc, visit their website at www.phpdoc.org. The last line in this file is another statement that uses the echo command. You may have noticed this in the previous example. This command is just one of the many ways that PHP scripts can output information. Here, we've used it to highlight an important difference between PHP comments and HTML comments. If we have a look at the source of the script, we see the HTML comment from the first line of example 3. The only other line that can be seen is the text that was supplied after the echo command. Comments written within PHP tags aren't visible when others are viewing the script through a web browser. Let's review some important points on comments. Effective commenting is an essential part of programming in any language. Using block comments for longer descriptions and single line comments for shorter notes will greatly improve the quality of the code you write. Comments aren't visible by the public when a script is accessed through a web server. Remember that other programmers may need to rely on your comments in the future, so keep them relevant and professional. It's possible to write so many comments in a program that the program is very difficult to read. Make sure that your comments add to the readability of a program. We'll see in the next chapter how effective naming in a program can supplement and even eliminate the need for comments in some places.